Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 has plenty of easter eggs within the main campaign and the operations missions. Now these do relate to Warhammer lore, but whether you're new to the game or a long time follower of the franchise, this shouldn't take away your enjoyment of this title. Today we're going to look at some details that you may have missed during your playthrough. Wearing a helmet during gameplay can be a cosmetic personal preference, and this can be turned on or off in the game settings. Playing without a helmet will make character dialogue clearer to hear, such as in this example. Something is off. Watch your backs. This is it. Weapons ready. If you do choose to wear a helmet, sound can still be heard, but with some added modulation effects. It is here. I want a Something is off. Watch your backs. Also sticking with helmets, if you choose to wear one during the campaign, Titus, Gadriel and Chiron will have them off during cutscenes. However, you won't see them remove it. Some combat elements that you may have noticed is that taking out Majorist or Extremist enemies can take out the Minoris enemies that are connected to them. So a key tip would be to focus on the larger enemies in battle, especially on the higher difficulties, or if you ever feel overwhelmed. Another way that you can combat enemies is to effectively run away. Get some distance between yourself and any enemies you come across. Now some can follow you, but if you're using an elevator, a jump, or you fall onto another platform, enemies can get stuck behind an invisible wall, but you can still shoot them, or they just despawn. Now this can help save resources on higher difficulties for the bigger battles later in the level. Now for some small details that you might have missed. If you go into photo mode while aiming a weapon with Titus, if you zoom into his face, you'll see that one eye is closed. An interesting thing to know is that Titus won't close any of his eyes when using his sidearm left-handed as part of a gun strike. Chiron has marksman honours of a bolt and chain, despite not using a scope on his weapon with his weapon of choice being a bolt rifle. Tyranid weapons also are alive, so to speak. There is an eye on the Tyranid termagant weapons. Finally, the statue of Sanguinius in the Temple of Thassian can be seen in the Avarax campaign mission, Servant of the Machine. Now, it is pretty hard to miss this imposing statue and it can be seen on the way to the second data slate within this same mission. Also found in this area is Blood Angel's icons on the stone and chalices on top of the pillars. So those were just some things you may or may not have noticed in Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. Was there anything else interesting that you found? I'd love to hear about it, so drop it in a comment below. Also, while you're here, feel free to check out some other videos on this channel, some of which will be on your screen shortly.